Hey, how's it going guys, that I here. So we got some information relating to Mafia 4 or whatever it's going to be called the next Mafia game. Now this information is coming from Insider Gaming. Tom Henderson himself has written this little article regarding of this game. So this is the name. Take Two is preparing for a Mafia series announcement, it's claimed. Now, as he gets into the, you know, the meaty, greedy information, I want to read it out first of all, then share my thoughts. Twitter user, or at this case, ex-user, <laughs> Kurakasis, uh, has claimed that Take-Two is preparing for a Mafia series announcement in the near future. Kurakasis has previously found early information on games by discovering trademarks, which could suggest that the game has recently had a trademark filing and could be gearing up for an announcement. Previously, findings from the user included finding games names including Metro Awakening, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, and Marvel's 1943 Rise of Hydra. Last year, a job listening for the next Mafia game said that the game was supposed to be an unannounced multi-platform game currently in a pre-production using Unreal Engine 5. The job listing did state that the game is in pre-production, which implies that the game could be a couple of years out from the release. Nonetheless, if the game is gearing up for an announcement, trademark information on the game's name is likely to become available. In a job listing, it was stated that the next iteration of the Mafia franchise would feature an engagement stealth and combat gameplay loops, which should make for a more enhanced experience over Mafia 3's relatively basic creep around and stab people stealth platform. Kotaku reported in May of 2022 that the game will be a prequel set in Sicily, the birthplace of Mafia, and it'll be set years before the first Mafia game, which saw players assume control of Tommy and Jello in the 1930s. Genuinely makes kind of interesting information relating towards the next or at least that upcoming Mafia game. Man, I cannot wait. I really have loved a lot of the Mafia games. Not so much of the third one, still nevertheless I played it, even platinumed it. But nevertheless, I'm still looking forward to see what it got in store. Now seeing or at least hearing that it may be set in the as a prequel and also set in Sicily, well, that should genuinely be quite entertaining and interesting to see how can they take this. Very interesting. Now, I'm not sure if, you know, with the direction perhaps that they could be going forwards instead and not backwards, I still think that's actually a right call being said as a Mafia game and said like 1900s and so. I'm still am curious to see what they got. I just hope it actually turns out well in terms of its polish and also just make sure that you iron out a lot of the problems that this game had, especially when I'm talking about Mafia 3, because at the first days of when that game came out, my goodness, people seriously hated that game because it was really broken, genuinely, and a lot of times people had to wait for months for it to finally get fixed. And unfortunately, if you make that kind of comparison from Mafia 1, 2 and 3 by the best of them all, I still think that the second one is better. But of course, until the remake came for the Mafia 1, well, in this case, I think Mafia 1, the remake anyway, is a better Mafia game, at least personally for me. Mafia 3, unfortunately, well, this just gets a sh short straw and stays on, on my third place anyway, from all those three Mafia games anyway. I'm glad to see the way as well that we got an opportunity of playing a remastered version of Mafia 2, genuinely made an experience a far better one at least, and actually, well, a lot more friendly experience that a lot of you, and myself included, actually could play the damn game. <laughs> Well, anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of discussion relating to this. Hopefully, it will turn out to be good, and hopefully, it will turn out to be, well, not broken on day one as well. Thank you again. Like and subscribe. See you guys all, and have a wonderful day.